Okay, for today's video, we're going over a lot of Safari LTD dinosaurs and prehistoric animals. Um, this is a lot I got for my birthday on the birthday sale. And the birthday sale was not like for each individual seller. They just had a, um, a birthday sale, which I guess was like the date that Safari like started making figures or whatever earlier this month. And it actually worked out perfect for me because um, there's actually four reasons why I really wanted to get this lot. They had a birthday sale going on of 30% off, and that's like one of the best deals you can get for Safari figures at any time. My birthday actually coming up, so it worked perfect for this birthday special video. And also, a few of these figures are getting retired this year, so I'd been wanting to get them, so I was happy to get them while they were still up on Safari's website. I would definitely recommend getting any of them now before Safari stops selling them. And one other reason is because I had points on the Safari LTD website that were going to expire later this month. And if you buy something, it resets the time before those points get reset. So I was able to add to my points without losing my points. So yeah, let's just get right into what I actually ended up getting. So like I said, all these are dinosaurs and prehistoric animals. I think we have six different figures. And yeah, super excited to show all of them. So we'll just get right into it. So I'll just roll out random ones. Um, it's a nice bit of diversity. So we'll just grab the first one. We'll see what we got. Okay, this is a good one to start with. This is, I believe, the Sharingosaurus or Shring Sharingosaurus. It's a really, really cool one. Non-dinosaur. This might actually be the only non-dinosaur in this lot. Uh, but it's a really cool prehistoric animal that lived before the dinosaurs. Uh, it's a really cool genus that we just don't have many figures of. So definitely wanted to get um, this figure. And this is one of the ones that is getting retired this year, unfortunately. So happy to finally have it such a cool animal and the colors look really nice on this one it is a little bigger actually in hand than i thought it would be it looks great i'm um, really loving this figure so far really like the colors on it but like i said it is unfortunate this figure is getting retired it's a prehistoric animal that lived before the dinosaurs and that's really all i know about it i don't know if this is in the group of synapsids or diapsids i'm and i'm blanking on what i don't know if this is like a reptile reptile or like one of the pre-mammal reptile things but it's a really cool prehistoric animal that I believe lived before the dinosaurs. And that's all I really know about Sharingosaurus. So, you know, if we end up reviewing this here, I'll learn a lot about the animal, just like you all will. So, that'll be something cool. Okay, so we'll move on to the next figure. Uh, next up, we have the, ooh, the Diabloceratops. Okay, this is another really great one. Um, this is one I've been wanting for a while. Uh, Diablo Ceratops is just a really cool Ceratops scene that I've been wanting to get a figure of and just um, haven't yet. There's a few good ones. Collecta's got one I like. Schleich had one I like. But Safari's is getting retired this year, and Safari's is really my favorite, probably at least Safari's my favorite brand of the group. This one, I will say, is actually a little smaller than I thought it would be, but it's still, I mean, it's still a really nice size figure. But it is a little smaller in hand than I thought, like the exact opposite of the Sharingosaurus. But yeah, this figure looks great. Super excited to have it. Such a cool Ceratops. And we actually do have a decent amount of um, Diablo Ceratops figures, but still, this one just is a really great one. I love the black with the reds, especially with its name being Diablo Ceratops. But yeah, really happy with that one. Um, and I definitely needed a figure of the genus, so that's another reason why I'm super happy with that one. Okay, next we'll move on to the one that I'm probably least excited for in the lot. Um, oh, and if I didn't mention, the Diablo Ceratops is getting retired this year as well, so definitely recommend picking it up if you haven't already. Um, next, we have the Concavenator, and like I said, this is probably the one I'm the least excited for, just because um, I already have a few really good Concavenators. Like, these two figures are both, like, new figures of the genus for me, but um, this one, I already have the genus. And it is the Concavenator. Um, I do really like this figure still, but... I already have, like, I've recently, like, in, over this year, I've actually picked up a few different concavenator figures. Okay, I have heard this one does have some standing issues for peoples. So, yeah, it appears mine possibly might be one of the ones that has standing issues as well. That's unfortunate, but, um, we'll just have to have it linked up on another figure. But the reason why I'm not as excited about that one is just the fact that we, I have the Carnegie concavenator. And I just personally prefer the Carnegie model to this one. Um, especially like the skull. I think this skull looks way more Carcharodontosaur than this one. But I still do really like this figure. Um, but like I said, it's probably the one I was the least excited for just because it is um, um, just a genus that I already have figures of that I personally prefer the other figures of, of the genus. 
And not that I, like I said, not that I dislike this figure, but it's just compared to, like, the Carnegie one. I prefer the Carnegie one. Uh, and that is, that figure is as well getting retired. A lot of the, almost all the figures in this lot are ones getting retired, so. And I'll put a link to each of these figures. Hopefully, um, by the time you all are seeing this video, all these figures are still up on the website. Uh, but yeah, we'll just move on to what's next. Uh, okay, looks like we have the Satakasaurus. I believe this is the smallest figure in the lot. Uh, this is one I was really excited for. This one, once again, is getting retired this year as well. Um, really love this one. I recently watched um, somebody's video, and they were talking about like the colors and everything for Satakasaurus, and I think this figure is actually fairly accurate as far as the colors and the tail fin. Okay, this one seems to be an interesting standard, to say the least. Yeah, I don't know how well this figure is going to stand. It seems its feet are a little warped as well. That's unfortunate. But this is definitely the most accurate Satakasaurus I have uh, because almost all the other ones I have lack the tail fan, like the older Carnegie one. This is the instance of the this one being better than the Carnegie, unlike the Concavenator, which I personally prefer the um, the Carnegie. But yeah, this Concavenator does look really good though. But like I said, I, it does. I would just, I personally prefer the Carnegie, but the last two or two that I'm really excited for, so if I didn't mention the Tagasaurus is getting retired this year as well. I know I've kind of said that a lot about a lot of these figures, but that is just the unfortunate case. Uh, and that is one thing, with all the figures in this lot, I was trying to get all the retired figures I needed left from Safari because I don't want to have to try to hunt down these figures once they get retired because they can become such a task to get once they get retired, so... That's why a lot of the figures in this lot are the ones getting retired this year. I don't believe any of them are completely retired yet, like you can't find them on Safari's website just yet, but they are getting retired very soon. So next up we have Coelophysis. This is actually, I think, the only figure I got that's not getting retired this year. Um, this is one I'm super excited for. Uh, and this is one that I specifically needed for a YouTube video. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this Celo is super excited for it. I think this is my first figure of the genus, which is one of the big reasons I wanted this one. Because Celo is such a cool dinosaur. You know, it was in Walking with Dinosaurs, and that's the specific reason I needed this figure. It was because I, well, I love the figure, actually. The figure looks amazing, but I needed a figure of Celo because I'm going to be doing a series going over the Walking with Dinosaurs series. And I wanted to have figures of, of at least the main dinosaurs in each episode, and Celo definitely is a main dinosaur in the Walking with Dinosaurs series, so... I really wanted to get a figure for that video, and I definitely think this is one of the best Celo Fasis figures, if not the best one available. And I love that they did feathers because I think there was some study that showed that Celo Fasis, where it lived, would have had to have had feathers to live where it did, but I don't think it's actually his fossil evidence of having feathers, but based off the environment, they believe it should have had feathers. So that's just a cool thing that I definitely applaud Safari for going with and adding. Um, and then finally, we've got the last figure. Definitely the biggest figure in the lot. Um, this is one that I've been wanting to get for a long, long time. I'm just getting this extra little sticker off. Uh, the big, huge Safari LTD and Montasaurus. This one I saw at the museum of the... What museum, what museum was it? the Nice Brown Museum of Natural History. And I saw this figure in person and I thought it looked great and I definitely wanted to get it. And yeah, having it in person, wow, this figure looks amazing. Yeah, wow, that figure, it, it seems even bigger this time having it. But yeah, this figure is massive. Um, I think this is probably the biggest Hadrosaur or one of the biggest Hadrosaur figures I own. Definitely the biggest Safari OTD Hadrosaur. And I've got some bigger Hadrosaur figures like the Safari OTD Gryposaurus, but still, this figure is massive. Um, I believe it represents Regalis of the two species just because the crest and everything. And there is one inaccuracy with this figure, and that's possibly one of the reasons it's getting retired is the lack of the hooves on the front feet. But still, this figure still looks amazing, even with that slight inaccuracy. Yeah, this figure, wow. I think this is probably the figure I'm the happiest with out of this lot. Just looks amazing. It's absolutely huge. Looks great. And I've become a big Hadrosaur fan as, as of being on YouTube. Um... But yeah, really love this figure. And like I said, this is also one of the ones getting retired, if I didn't mention that as well, which is, like I said, very unfortunate that a lot of these figures are getting retired. 
Um, and that's why I picked all these up. With this lot, I was able to complete the retired set. Uh, so yeah, now I have all the ones that are getting retired for this year, including the um, ones. I'll show off the other ones that are getting retired this year if you haven't seen the list. And I'll show off the ones that I already had. But yeah, it it is sad that figures get retired, but you know, it's not like they're just dropping figures altogether because, you know, it's these figures, they're going to get other figures to put in their place. So it's not like we're completely missing out on figures. But it is unfortunate that these figures do get retired and they do get very hard to get. So I would definitely recommend getting any of these figures that are getting retired because they do end up getting very hard to get if you don't get them when they are available. So yeah, let's just show off the other ones getting retired. So the Safari LTD Bogaceratops is also getting retired this year. The Safari LTD City Patty is also getting retired this year. The Safari LTD Uni Ethereum is also getting retired this year. The Safari LTD Dino Kyrus is getting retired this year. And the Safari LTD Chiansusaurus is also getting retired this year. It is unfortunate that all these figures are getting retired because they are a lot of really great figures that I will say it's very unfortunate that they're getting retired as early as they are. Especially ones like that Dino Kyrus, which I thought were really great even now, but it is that it is the case. And every single one of the ones that I unbox in this lot is actually getting retired this year, except the Celo Fices. But yeah, I really love all these figures. Um, and it is a real shame that they're getting retired, but... These are the ones I chose to get for my birthday as the birthday special video because they're figures that I've all been wanting and with them getting retired, I knew that right now was the time to get them. So yeah, um, thank you all so much for watching. I'm super happy with each and every one of these figures. And I will do a poll um, out of these figures of which you all want to see me review first. I probably am not going to put the Concavenator on there just because I've reviewed, Concaven I've reviewed a few Concavenator figures already this year. And I haven't had a chance to review a Coelophysis or a Cetacosaurus or a Diabloceratops, Edmontosaurus or a Syringosaurus. I did review the Edmontosaurus or a Natty Titan figure from the Field Museum last year, but that was still all the way last year. And Concavenator, I literally reviewed figures of this summer, multiple figures of. So that's why I'm probably not going to put it on the poll. But any other figure from this lot, I would definitely be happy to review. And yeah, I will go over the featured figures. So every single figure in this video was Safari LTD. The five that I just showed up that are getting retired as well, plus all the six on screen. And then this is the Safari LTD Carnegie Collection Cetacosaurus. And this is the Safari LTD Carnegie Collection Concavenator. Both of those figures have been retired since the Carnegie line ended. But yeah, it is unfortunate that figures do get retired. But it's just kind of a thing that happens, as unfortunate as it is. But I want to thank you all so much for watching. I'm out. I will put a link to every single figure I got in this video. And... um. And I'll just put a link to Safari LTD's website as well, so um, you all can just look and see if there are any figures. But I will put a link to all the ones getting retired this year that are up on Safari LTD's website. But if you see this video in a month or later, some of these figures might not be available on Safari's website. But they might still be available on some of their shared retailers. But these figures, uh, trust me, they will get hard to get. And you're going to be upset if you don't get them now because it really is unfortunate. But And I know I've said that a lot, but... Trust me, there's nothing you're going to hate more than missing out on paying like $15 for a figure and then in two years you're trying to find it and it's a $50 plus figure. It's very annoying or you can't even find it on eBay or anything. So I definitely recommend picking up any of these figures, especially if they're ones you've been hesitant to buy and considering buying. Now is the time to get them. But thank you all so much for watching. I'm out. I'm super happy with this overall lot and can't wait to review some of these figures in the future and use them in future videos like that Coelophysis, which will be featured in a Walking with Dinosaurs series on the channel.